Log Talk Radio. Broadcasting live from D.C. All right. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. This is so much. We have Miss Tether, Miss Love, and Alyssa. Broadcasting live from D.C. I think there's an echo. There's an echo. Okay. Yes. Someone's listening online. <laughs> oh, that's probably me. <laughs> yeah, turn it okay. off. Okay, is everything okay now? Hello, ladies, can you hear me? Hello? 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 Okay. Uh, there seems to be an error on the switchboard. It keeps muting us. I'm looking in the back. I'm trying to unmute it. Hello, ladies. Are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay, are we are we ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay, for some reason, I keep seeing on the switchboard that uh, Mr. the music keeps getting muted. I'm seeing this. I'm not liking this. Um, okay, hopefully we won't have this problem, but. Let's get the show started. Um, tonight's topic is discussing spiritual nutrition. Are your thoughts making you sick? Do you know that all things must take place in the spiritual before they make manifest in the physical 3D world? Well, tonight we will explore the spiritual and emotional causes of this ease and how we can counterattack our thought process to become triumphant over our health. Now, recently in the news, um, model um, uh, extraordinaire, Ms. B. Smith, uh, the black Martha Stewart, uh, this woman has a phenomenal list of credits to her name. Um, she's, all, she's a restaurateur. She's, she's an uh, all-around um, rounded and uh, extraordinary black woman. And uh, we had got some alarming news that she had just di- diagnosed, has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at the age of 64. And so what we wanted to discuss tonight was uh, uh, things that we can do to uh, prevent certain diseases taking place in our health. Um, and another thing I wanted to address was the fact that Ms. Smith went public about her condition because 
Because by going public and owning the disease that you've been told that you have, I just feel like you're <clears throat> vibrating to that disease even more. You're just intensifying it, and you're really, really manifesting that disease into this current 3D realm. So, and that goes for all people. Tony Braxton as well. I mean, I hear her countless times talking about she has lupus, I have lupus, my lupus. I mean, when do we get to the point in life when we stop claiming these diseases as our own and start taking power and control over our own health by seeking life into ourselves, by not claiming those diseases, by not letting the doctor give us the final diagnosis on our health? So tonight we're going to um, talk about some things that can prevent um, these things from coming about. Now... There is a website that we go to um, that pretty much breaks down the spiritual causes of diseases, and um, the link will be posted below in the chat. Um, it's called OurSpiritualNutrition.com, and there um, it contains a list of all diseases, and it gives you a spiritual uh, call for those particular diseases. So uh, tonight we're going to focus in on Alzheimer's disease <clears throat> and the causes, the spiritual causes that bring Alzheimer's about. So, okay, so on spiritual nutrition, it discusses the, uh, the root cause of Alzheimer's, which is chronic self-deception habitual denial of having played any role in one's own negative experiences, hence a chronic need to blame, strong desire to make everyone believe that there have been no negative experiences in one's life, that one has done everything just right, in other words, wanting to live in a fairy tale. Now, I don't know. Miss B's life, I'm not in Miss B Smith's life, but what I found interesting in the in one of the articles is that she said that she started to sing a lot of sad love songs. Like um, she would sing sad songs like You've Abandoned Me, Love Doesn't Live Here Anymore, and it would annoy her husband. It would, he claimed that this turned him off. So could it have been that... And I don't know, but I'm just insinuating. Could it have been that maybe she created a sort of fairy tale, you know, hence Martha Stewart? Could there have been issues that she was in denial about that could have brought on the Alzheimer's disease? Because I do I have a family member, a few family members that have struggled with Alzheimer's, and they seem to go into a state of denial before they go into the Alzheimer's state. So I want to hear... Um, I want to hear Miss Love's take on this, and I also want to hear Holistic Gal's take on this. Well, okay. um, I was going to say, can someone turn the TV down in the background? I'm getting feedback. Maybe my phone. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Go ahead, Miss Love. Um, I was gonna say that all when when Mr. Feather said that um the people that she knew that when they would come down with Alzheimer's disease they were escaping reality. Well, yeah, those with um, Alzheimer's disease patients, um, let me see, Alzheimer's disease, they, they escape reality and they're afflicted with the disease. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, this is a, it's, a, it's a source when they escape reality. That is um, one, one of the symptoms that you know that, you know, they're coming down with Alzheimer's disease. And... Um, 
also, as far as, far as the, from a nutrition standpoint, it is um, definitely from a lack of the proper nutrition, and it comes from lack of oxygen to the brain and not mm-hmm. eating foods high in oxygen, you know, i.e., like, um, green leafy vegetables that are rich with chlorella from the sun and um, and green green leafy vegetables, those foods are good to help prevent Alzheimer's. Also, walnuts are good for the brain. Um, and when you are exposed to heavy metal, metals such as aluminum, aluminum is a very big contributor to Alzheimer's disease. And we get we get aluminum from the chemicals in the food, the so-called foods, the processed foods, which are food-like products that a lot of us eat. And when we drink from aluminum cans, people stop drinking out of aluminum cans because you are absorbing and taking in that. That is, the aluminum is being absorbed into the beverage. The beverage is absorbing the aluminum and you're drinking that and you're putting that into your body. So you have canned foods, canned um, drinks. Everything in a can should not be eaten. I mean, there are, I know a mom's organic market, they have um, canned canned food that um, has a, a sealant, like something on the inside so you're not exposed to aluminum and so it's not bad for you, as well as like deodorants. Most, just about every deodorant on the market has a really high aluminum quantity and a lot of um, unnecessary chemicals that also contribute to breast cancer for women. So we definitely want to stay away from those um, products because they expose us to metals. Our bodies were not created to um, be exposed to the types of environment that we put ourselves through, and it's by the food and the products that we use every day. And so the human brain is very susceptible to especially aluminum, and we need to eat high-oxygen foods, basically mostly fruits and vegetables, raw fruits and vegetables, um, protect our body from these types types of diseases and give us the um, oxygen, chlorella, and um, and also the nutrients that we need to fight these types of things. Excellent, excellent. excellent. So, um, so from your standpoint, you're saying that we uh, just want to touch bases back with, um, pinpoint what you were saying. So. Uh, hot, we need to eat more foods high in oxygen. Mm-hmm. And you also, uh, another thing, um, Ms. Love, that I think that is real, really vital to um, our, not just our brains, but our hearts is breathing. Doing mm-hmm. a lot, because we don't get a lot of oxygen to our hearts or to our brains. So you already know when there's a lack of oxygen to your brain that, of course, you know, you're going to be consider the airhead spaced out, ungrounded. And so I think that incorporating some sort of breathing exercises such as Qigong, um, yoga, um, just incorporate a lot of, or, or just on your own, get you like five minutes, sit down, and just, you know, get some fresh air and just do a lot of deep breathing to bring that oxygen inside so it can... Uh, not only get to the brain, but also the heart as well. Absolutely. Okay. And holistic heart. gal, what what is your take on this? I mean, are there any herbs that we can use, um, let the people know about that they can utilize to um, uh, reduce their chances of Alzheimer's, as well as incorporating the foods and the breathing exercises and also doing doing their work spiritually, working on themselves, working on their emotions. Is there anything that uh, you can give us on the herbal side? Well, yes, there has been some research done on the herb ashwagandha, and it's also Mm -hmm. known as winter cherry and Indian ginseng. And this is used in the Indian Ayurvedic medical system, and it's been used for thousands of years, and they call it a wonder herb. 
And they say what it actually does is it reduces the stress and improves your energy and vitality. Um, I was just reading that research shows that 5.4 million people are diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. One That's like one in eight people over the age of 65, which is tremendous. Wow. And it's, mm-hmm. it's horrible because I believe that these type of things do not have to happen. Um, no. With no known, no known cure or, you know, and they usually if you have Alzheimer's, they're giving you a terminal prognosis. So what it is, all time is, is degeneration of your brain cells. And it's a steady loss of intellectual, social skills, and ultimately premature death. But research, research has showed that when um, giving this herb, ashwanda extract, to mm-hmm. the lab rats, in 20 days their memory improves significantly. Wow. So, I mean, that kind of, you know, it speaks for itself. And um, I think we just need to look at alternative health and holistic type healing because um, usually pharmaceutical drugs come from an herb. So I think it's Uh always best to go the holistic route first. And, you know, sometimes you may need something from the pharmaceutical company. But I think, I believe that mostly every disease can be healed um, naturally. A book I like to reference a lot when looking up diseases for my clients is from the author is Lisa Borbo. And the book is called Your Body's Telling You Love Yourself. And what she talks about are um, the metaphysical causes of illnesses and disease. So when talking about Alzheimer's, she's saying that when it's an emotional block, it's used to escape the reality of the present. And usually those afflicted with this disease are often the type to have taken care of everything. They had a wonderful memory that they were very proud of and even liked to show off, but it was often misused. However, by storing trivial details that other thoughts were unimportant, they say that these people often felt bound to others and felt that others weren't taking care of them as they would have liked. So today this disease relieves them of responsibility and helps them control others, especially those that take care of them. As far as the mental wow. block, it says, <laughs> this, is, this is amazing because usually when I'll read a disease for someone and it's like they'll have an aha moment and they'll see mm-hmm. their self in the component. Exactly. Even for myself, firsthand, I've, I see myself in plenty of these illnesses. So Mm -hmm. it just proves that you really have to go to the soul level when dealing with illness and just know that everything starts on the soul level and then it manifests itself to the physical level, and which Mm -hmm. is just your body trying to get your attention and say, hello, love yourself, check on this, check yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I absolutely agree. I mean, this is, it's amazing. Um. Before you, you know, you become aware that things begin, um, illnesses begin on a soul level before they manifest, and that we are the ones creating these health issues. Um, I wanted to go into a little bit about um, the chakra system, your energy center, and the the uh, the chakra center that is actually off balance. Um, when the disease of all Alzheimer's sets in, and um, most likely it's going to affect your root chakra, your solar plexus. But most the, the chakra that's most affected is the crown chakra. And when this is out of balance, there are some questions that you have to ask yourself: um, Are you having trouble accepting something? Are you acting, or have you been acting selfishly? Are you have are you um, 
or have you been feeling superior to others? Are your judgments based on facts or what you base them on? Are you hoping for a different outcome to something? Are you feeling alienated? Are you feeling let down with life or unsatisfied and you're putting on a facade for others? Um, these are the things that you have to start questioning your soul, you know, so you can get some clarification on, you know, uh, are you the one that is, I mean, because we all know that we are the ones that are the ones that cre are creating this, but to actually have that moment when you can admit that you are the one that is creating this disease. So I would suggest also doing positive uh, affirmations as well to reverse some of these negative thought patterns. Um, tell, start telling yourself, I am divine. I accept all that comes into my day with trust and selflessness. I am selfless. I honor all others. Life will bring me many wonders today. Today will bring me new enthusiasm. So, I mean, there, there are a host of different types of um, Affirmations, you can find them on YouTube, you can find them on the website, just by typing in positive affirmations. And I also recommend doing some sort of fast or detox. Now, Ms. Love, um, um, Holistic Gal, can you all suggest um, certain food detoxes as well as herbal detoxes? Well, um, a food detox for for metals, say for metal detox. Now, one thing I want to um, comment on is the lack of oxygen to the brain. And when you, Ms. McFella, were talking about breathing, deep breathing exercises and yoga, um, mm -hmm. breathing mm -hmm. oxygen is the number one thing that we can do without, you know, just, you know, breathing and meditation. It's all like mm -hmm. like a mystic feather and holistic gal say it starts in the spirit. So when we start and when we meditate and start from the spirit level and with breathing and visualization and things of that matter, that can help us on our healing journey. So we start with meditation, breathing, loving ourselves and thinking positive from that point and then we incorporate the food. So, like, um, mm -hmm. a, a, a metal detox, because if your brain, if you have a metal, you have too much metal in your system and it's affecting your brain, a metal detox is um, for your liver and for metal is uh, parsley, cilantro, eating a lot of parsley and mm -hmm. cilantro. These are herbs, but you can also buy them in the store and juice them. That's a really quick way to detox. Puffy cilantro and um, uh, I can't think of the name of the uh, dandelion, dandelion root. Dandelion root, parsley, cilantro, kale, as well as um, beets. Beets are good, mm -hmm. um, liver detox. Because a lot of things in our liver and then in our bloodstream, in our brain. So, like, um, and beets will detoxify and purify your blood, and I believe I may have mentioned that in the last show. So, but, and mm -hmm. these um, fruits and vegetables, so these vegetables I just mentioned, and, of course, lemon. Lemon is a um, wonderful purifier, and also lemon removes negativity out of your body as well. So, when when we when I also tell clients I tell people to eat a certain foods, but also we have to address on a spirit level as well because everything starts spirit and then manifests into our bodies. So we have to incorporate breathing exercises, meditation, and yoga into you know what we do when we're on a healing journey. It's a journey. It's it takes time to yes. heal. So we have to incorporate all of these. Yes things in because we have to address what is going on. So we're going to address the physical by, you know, eating more green vegetables, specifically <coughs> parsley, cilantro, um, dandelion root. These are good for detox. And also moringa. I'm taking moringa mm -hmm. every day. 
will um, definitely is a wonderful detox and, and is so rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and it, um, which will definitely help nourish the body through your healing journey and through your healing regimen. So we want to nourish okay. the body and detox it. Okay. Thank you for that, Ms. Love. Um, Holistic Gal, do you have any um, herbs that you can recommend to our listeners out there? Um, yes. Definitely you want to make sure that you're getting your vitamin D. Um, very high doses of vitamin B12 have been um, known to treat Alzheimer's disease and reduce memory loss. You also want to make sure that you're getting a nutritious diet, rich in folate. Um, avoid all types of mercury. Um, if you can, if it's possible, if you can remove the um, almagam fillings from your mouth, you want to try to avoid aluminum, antiperspirants, um, nonstick cookware, certain vaccinations that have actually have mercury in them. You want to make sure that you're exercising regularly, which is going to help getting, you know, rotate that oxygen throughout your body. Um, blueberries are very good to work with Alzheimer's and neurological diseases. And I would say just daily try to challenge your mind. My grandmother always did crossword puzzles and um, and um, word word searches. So just keep your keep your mind going, kind of reduce the TV, and I say pick up a good book. <laughs> yes, most definitely, most definitely. And also I want to touch on that because um, uh, on YouTube, um, on the Internet, check out um, brain exercises, luminosity, um, things that work your mind. Because um, when we were growing up, our grandmother, all the way up to her death, she always worked across her puzzles and read. So these things, are, and she was sharp as a tack. So these are the things that keep you, your your brain in mental tip-top shape. And um, I also wanted to give out a couple of crystals for my crystal lovers out there that help with the crown chakra. You can use the amethyst. You can use the diamond, clear quartz. Pearl, um, Mossa Gate, and um, all of these are good to stimulate and open up your crown chakra, and as well as certain aromatherapy. So um, certain scents that you can use, certain um, oils or incense that you can burn will be sage, frankincense, myrrh, um, and juniper. You, um, these help cleanse and open up your crown chakra as well. So. I suggest um, those and just uh, take a listen. I'll go back, listen to us again, um, jot down some things that you haven't already, and just take these into consideration to keep your mind in great mental health. And remember that life is a journey, as Ms. Love said. It's not a destination. So take your time. You have all the time in the world until it's your time to go. So I just want to put that out there. and. Uh, ladies, do you have any final things to say? We have about two minutes left before we wrap up. Um, I was going to say not to forget um, selenite and um, clear quartz crystal. Those are good for your crown chakra and to balance your mind and your thinking and your brain waves. Definitely it worked for okay. me. I was having some issues with my crown chakra, and that selenite and that clear quartz, you know, it put everything in alignment for me. And also sound healing. I meant to throw that in there before Miss, <laughs> before um, Holistic Gal gives her final um, gives her final words. I just wanted to throw in there uh, sound therapy. Uh, listening to the Love Frequency 528 gigahertz. Uh, research it. Um, sound therapy has been very therapeutic and helpful for um, uh, getting brain um, inactive brain waves active again. So just check it out. I listen to binary beats, isotonic beats all the time. So just check those out. Yeah, holistic gal here. I just want to say love yourself, take care of yourself, and try 
Try an alternative therapy. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> love, love. Okay. All right. So that concludes our show for tonight. Um, Thank you for all tuning right. in. Well, we, yes, we love you all. And this ends our show for tonight. See you next time.